I grew up in church, but going through the battles of church and going through like three church splits, I came to a point in my adult life to where I was refusing to go. I really honestly used to be one of those Christians that thought, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I can just kind of be a Christian on my own, you know, and just kind of, you know, still, still worship God, pray, you know, by myself. And, you know, I don't really need to go to church to be a Christian. Well, there was a time when I was going through something in my life <clears throat> and felt like I needed a break from church. And uh, come to find out that's where I needed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine by the name of Paul Wooderson came to the house one day and he's like, Matt, I got somewhere I, I need you to go. And uh, he asked me to come to community and just check it out for him that I didn't have to come but one time. We started off, it basically it was any church that had a website. We, we kind of started, that's how you start your research, you know. We wanted a church that was ours, not I'm going to his church or he's going to mine, but it's one where we, it, it was kind of our first decision together, I think, mm. to, to find somewhere where we both fit as a couple. And this is where we ended up, this is where God led us. He really did um, love Christ and needed to be in a place where he knew he could lock arms with people and walk through life with them. Stephanie was a little hesitant. We agreed. One time. That. That's it. <laughs> One time. She's like, I heard he play wild music. and So we made a short list of churches that we would like to attend and um, community was on it because we had been to a couple of praise and worship nights. When we left, going back across the parking lot, she's like, we got to go back. One thing that really stuck out here is how friendly people were right off the bat. Had one person, I won't mention his name, but walked. <laughs> 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 Met us at the gravel before we even got up to the awning. And uh, I felt like I knew him. Walking through the doors is, is like an open invitation to uh, connect with someone. I mean, there, there's someone there to shake your hand, you know, to give you a hug. I can just remember during one of the second worship songs, I think, second or third, just just sobbing, just like Harlequin mask, mascara running down the face, tears. And um, before I could even realize what was happening, someone had brought up a tissue box right to me and just, just hugged me and I had no idea who they were. And um, for me, that was kind of the turning point. We wanted a church that we could be a part of, not just be members, to come and sit and listen. We wanted to do something. And there's all kinds of opportunities here. We're teaching Sunday school together now, which helps both of us grow, We're studying the Bible together. Everyone has an opportunity to serve, and um, that's what we were looking for for our family, was um, a way to be involved and a way to give back. The spiritual life is not stagnant, it's not static, it's not going to just remain the same. It's gonna either grow, and, and move forward or it's going to kind of shrink back, I think. You forget, you forget how, how much better you feel when you connect. It was refreshing and frightening all at once, you know, and that was, was something that I experienced directly as a result of people just pouring themselves out in ministry <clears throat> in church. And, and that kind of refreshment is, is something that I hadn't experienced in a while. I think coming here was a breath of fresh air because it's a church like no other I've been to. This is about loving people, not changing people. But this is a church that doesn't make judgments on the past. They accept who we are right now. And that's a good thing, that's a beautiful thing. And I think we are in a place where, where the church is becoming more like Christ has called us to be because that's who He is. He loves people and he changes them and he loved people into his circle. The kids, they're getting what they need to be spiritually fed. You know, we've seen Hunter saved. Jamie, who works in the nursery with Maya very frequently, she got out of the car seat and we said, we're at church, Maya. She goes, hold Jamie, hold Jamie. You know, they just, they love the people that are there. And it feels more like family. You know, it's not just a church, you know, it, it's family to us, I think, now. When I'm there, you, I feel the presence of God. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to every Sunday. We love this church. We, we love, love this the church. people here. And, and we're excited you know, to raise yeah. our son in this church.